talk about the most difficult thing that went into directing this film. Well, I did sit in my apartment for 10 days before I directed it, and I watched every romantic comedy made from 1988 to 2007 like a mad scientist. That's like 80 movies in That's, 10 days. Yeah. It's quite, quite a marathon. It opened up my heart and it turned my brain into mud. And uh, that's what I did. And then that leads to my next question: What is your favorite romantic comedy before this one? Obviously. I yeah, this is my favorite. That, yeah, <laughs> thank you, thank you for feeding Clearly. me that. This is my favorite romantic comedy. I love the I love the movies that make me feel like I'm in love. I love Harry Met Sally. I love Sleepless in Seattle. I love Something's Got to Give. I love Notting Hill maybe the most. Okay. Okay. I love it. I love. So what can we expect from? Isn't it romantic? Um. It's like a it's like a celebration of all the things in life that are good. Maybe we could use a little bit of that for a second. We seem to be inundated with so much of the morose constantly, and it's not exactly true that life is only sad. There's also beautiful stuff in it, and so this movie is a little bit of an oasis from the winter and from that story. And you can just remind yourself that it's also not so. There's also nice things too. Do you have a love story that you wish you could turn around, such as Rebel did in this movie? What do you mean? Like a personal love story? That I could turn around? Because the world needs more positive, the world needs more of love, so did you, did you pull from a personal reference to kind of oh, yes. see through a different lens? I did try to keep um, the feeling of love around the set as we were shooting it. It's true, I, you know, the couple that introduced my parents to each other they are in the movie, and there's a couple in the movie that's uh, in a scene that I found on the street and I brought them in. So I tried to have a lot of real, real life couples sort of around us. Like in Goodfellas, they had real gangsters. I tried to have a lot of love around. Maybe that would be contagious. And maybe it was because Priyanka and Liam both got married afterwards. 